Bartosz, I'm happy to have you here. Uh, yeah, uh, one of the reasons why I'm so happy because we have something to announce in our staking center. Uh, that's gonna be a huge thing for our uh, plans for the April. But mm -hmm. still, I want to know from you who you are, what you mm -hmm. do, and then you're gonna tell me a bit about your product. Absolutely. Uh, so thanks for inviting me in the first place. It's great to be here. Sure. Uh, my name is Bartosz Antoniak. I'm uh, part of uh, Genius Yields Marketing Department. I'm head of marketing department. Um, yeah, and my role is simply to craft all marketing uh, strategies and execution plans of uh, Genius Yield um, mm -hmm. activities. So Genius Dex and Smart Liquidity Vault, mm -hmm. as I will um, explain later on. But of yeah. course, I'm cooperating. With I want to hear more time. about that smart thing. <laughs> smart. <laughs> smart. Oh, yeah. So they will be smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm also supporting my colleagues from Genius X and team. Uh -huh. It's a bit of a separate project to, to Genius Yield, but still within the uh -huh. whole ecosystem. So, so, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So happy to have you here. Uh, I believe that you are the right person. You said you are working for the marketing team. Yes, you have I believe that you have uh, plans, uh, especially now because uh, you have your ISPO running, still in the process. That's gonna end up not very soon, but soon. <laughs> so, what mm -hmm. are your plans? Yes, actually, in terms of ISPO, you're correct. We're running uh, currently running our ISPO. Uh, recently, we announced round two of our ISPO. Mm -hmm. So we added five million gems mm -hmm. uh, to the to the reward pool. Um, however, we um, mm, assume uh, our calculations show that uh, our SPO will end a bit earlier than expected. Mm -hmm. It will end around 10th of May. Okay. So this is when the, the whole um, prize pool will, uh, will be distributed amongst all uh, delegators. And currently we have um, over 270 million ADA, I believe, delegated mm -hmm. by the state pools. So it's an amazing number. Pretty, yeah. yeah, pretty decent number. A pretty decent number and and yeah and all our state pools are almost full i think there's some mm -hmm. slight space still for a few thousands of ada but apart from that we're all full okay awesome so uh you said five million that's like additional five million of tokens that you're gonna redistribute because i believe that 15 was initial number 15 million Yes, yes. Um, it was. It will be. Uh, it will. Yes, it will be additional five million uh, mm -hmm. gen tokens added to the uh, to to the pool. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So why is your ISPO so successful? What you are doing so amazing? Can you please <laughs> explain us? <laughs> well, I believe. I think that um, it's simply the division and the the um, the idea for the whole mm -hmm. Genius Yield, um, mm -hmm. which will be. Um, well, Genius Yield, we call Genius Yield an all-in-one DeFi platform, right? So mm -hmm. within that all-in-one, this is what's included on, in, within mm -hmm. that all-in-one. It's first of all the Genius Dex, um, order book, order book the Genius Dex, and mm -hmm. then we have that Yield Optimizer, which in our case is called Smart Liquidity, uh, which will be called Smart Liquidity Vaults because there will be mm -hmm. multiple of, of these vaults that will um, optimize um, yields. Okay, so the core product is actually the centralized exchange, if I'm right. Yes, first we were gonna launch um, the, the decentralized exchange, and then after two or three months, we're going to launch Smart Liquidity Vault, and yeah. this together yeah. will create this Genius Yield solution that, um, um, and that vision, I believe, because you asked, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, about SPO. I believe this is the vision of that product of this whole ecosystem mm -hmm. that uh, a lot of uh, members of our community believed in, and um, we have thousands of uh, you know of uh, users, of community members on board, mm -hmm. and delegators who believe in that project and simply delegate that decided to delegate the radar uh, mm -hmm. and, and and participated in our program in our project. Awesome, awesome. So why genius? You know, it's mm -hmm. really. Uh, if you ask me a good name, it's awesome mm -hmm. name, you know, Genius <laughs> Yield. So Thanks. is that something that is going to help us actually to just, you know, provide the liquidity or put the funds in and you're going to do everything for ourselves? Uh, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, the idea is to, <clears throat> to address needs of uh, uh, needs of uh, beginners, beginning mm -hmm. users, intermediate and experts, right? It's, uh -huh. uh, it's a tough, <laughs> let's say, but uh, we believe that we'll, we'll make it um, because this, that, that's why we introduced a lot of um, all selection of features mm -hmm. that are unlocked by uh, Cardano blockchain and EU TXO um, architecture, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, the, the, um, normally we have uh, different kinds of participants on a, on a, on a DEXs, mm -hmm. right? So we have that market makers, uh, market takers, and so on. So uh, we crafted that selection of features that helps um, all participants to uh, improve their, uh, their yields, improve their mm -hmm. effectiveness of, of, their, uh, of their investments, right? So for example, for, uh, for market uh, takers or for traders, we have that smart swaps. So which are basically are programmable, <clears throat> sorry, um, buy and sell orders um, uh -huh. that allow trading, you know, trading in ways that users are familiar with, um, you know, the, the user, when you use the centralized exchange, you have the selection of that, uh, of that uh, buy and sell orders and, uh, and, and so on. Okay. But we also uh, enable more sophisticated, sophisticated orders, uh, so uh, it will be like a extended version, let's say, right? And and as for market makers for liquidity mm -hmm. providers, right? So again, we utilize uh, all that unique features of Cardano blockchain because uh, for uh, for market makers for liquidity providers, we have this concentrated liquidity feature, mm -hmm. right? Because when you um, if you're a liquidity provider <clears throat> and you provide the liquidity to, um, let's say, regular, normal um, uh, DEX, you have that infinity, infinite um, price range from zero to infinity, mm -hmm. right? So uh, it's, uh, it imposes uh, this uh, impermanent loss threat, right? And, and mm -hmm. in our case, that concentrated liquidity allows to, um, to allocate capital within, the, within a um, range specific price exactly right mm -hmm. so like effectively it eliminates the the risk of impermanent loss right uh -huh. so we have that sort of features that are uh we believe unique and of course uh, you know th these features are unlocked by cardano, by cardano blockchain but mm -hmm. um, and all like different uh, participants of cardano blockchain utilize singular features but we believe mm -hmm. that we're um the first um let's say organization the first project that combines all that features uh, into this genius yield uh, solution okay makes sense okay uh, <laughs> so uh, hopefully it's gonna work now please mm -hmm. tell me when we can expect to you know use that uh, your decks use that technology sure so we'll be inviting um everyone who's willing to uh, participate in public testnet we'll be inviting mm -hmm. uh, you guys uh, probably middle june mm -hmm. summer mid june and then <clears throat> we assume that our our decks will be launched um around end of july beginning of august and okay. of course it depends on the effects of uh, that uh, public tests right because we will mm -hmm. we'll be running public tests and of course, we have uh, that uh, audit um, uh, partner, actually mm -hmm. two partners. So mm -hmm. depending on the results of the tests and of, uh, and of audits, like this might, uh, of course, affect the, the launch date. But um, so far, so good. And we're aiming at um, <laughs> end of July, maybe beginning of, of August. This is when we're going to launch Genius Dex. And then after two or three months, we'll launch on top of that, we'll launch uh -huh. the smart liquidity. A liquidity vault solution okay yeah sounds like a great plan so maybe mm -hmm. this is going to be like a bit a tricky tricky question so i'm not sure if you are aware how many dexes are coming to cardano did you count them no i tried to count them like we, how many currently are and yeah, yeah in, a few already <laughs> yeah so but that's good so like i did my Kardano own is, research Kardano yeah. is drawing attention right finally it is, it is. <laughs> According to my own research, I believe that we should have at least 25 different decentralized exchanges on Cardano. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, why? Uh, what I see as a problem is that I don't believe that we have a 25. Uh, uh, well, maybe it's a wrong uh, 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 way to say it. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are waiting for the projects besides the DEXs, okay? Uh, uh -huh. Because you know, at least, you know, from the perspective of the decentralized exchanges, yes, they need to work. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, 
you need to have good volume or good strong co uh, community you know and uh, mm -hmm. many projects that are going to actually uh, uh, exchange that mm -hmm. people are going to actually exchange their tokens on uh, on those exchanges so yeah. uh, what is your perspective your angle on that you know if cardano uh, draw attention of uh, teams that are willing to launch as you said, twenty something dexes. I'm absolutely yeah. sure that they that Cardano also draw attention of teams that are working on other um, mm -hmm. products. And actually, even now within our Genius X um, mm -hmm. accelerator program, we already have onboarded. Um, we have two startups that special that are uh, NFT marketplaces. Yeah. Um, um you have maestro which is a ispo um uh, staking pool provider mm -hmm. um okay i have to look at my cheat sheet because I <laughs> all of them. sure well that's uh, actually what yeah. what i wanted to talk about so uh besides that i believe that we all should actually help uh cardano ecosystem grow okay so yeah. uh you know okay we are all fighting for our small piece of the market and everything we have uh, mm -hmm. uh sometimes different sometimes uh, similar products but still mm -hmm. uh you know the whole point of all of this is to actually help cardano ecosystem to grow and you have some plans to do to uh do that by uh, having that accelerator uh yeah. Absolutely. if i'm right uh yeah we have you know our own uh thing called air funds so we are trying to help mm -hmm. pre-ico or pre-ido even pre I ISPO and now are so different <laughs> ways how you can actually raise money, yeah. especially on Cardano. Mm -hmm. So uh, to get initial funding and to help them to set up everything. Uh, but yeah, so you have your your own uh, way. So that's why I asked you. Uh, okay, awesome. So listen, I think there is enough space for uh, for all sort of you know accelerators uh, because there is that. Um, um, uh there are also like lately we even uh, teamed up with uh, cardano defi um mm -hmm. cardano defi uh oh my god uh accelerator um, mm -hmm. defi alliance and um alliance not accelerator sorry exactly. so uh, so yeah so there are a lot of um, um projects a lot of activities mm -hmm. within the, the ecosystem that where there are no you know we we focus on what uh, brings us together not one different what differentiates us right so it's a, it's exactly. a good, great one okay okay uh i saw on your web page uh i did a bit of a dive into your web page and i saw there is a brain uh on the web page <laughs> yes. so what that even, brain even moving. does <laughs> yeah so i saw some uh some something like you know we're gonna use a artificial intelligence and things like that. So do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, so I think it's simply like a visualization of all that smart um, solutions that we are already using or that uh -huh. we plan um, plan to use. Um, but mainly it will, uh, I think it refers to that smart liquidity vault. So that yield optimizer, mm -hmm. which was one of the core ideas for the whole genius yield. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, smart liquidity vaults will be and uh, that liquidity management strategies created based on that AI um, mm -hmm. um, mechanisms and um, based on the blockchain data and uh, based mm -hmm. on historical data and based on, of course, uh, users, uh, feedback, and so on and so forth. So it will uh, combine um, a lot of parameters, let's say, uh, a lot mm -hmm. of features uh, all together and uh, based on AI, it will be crafted into form of these vaults, which will be mm -hmm. make, make available for, for liquidity providers. Uh, so each liquidity provider, each user will be able to uh, simply pick the best strategy that mm -hmm. fits his or her needs. And based on risk that such person is willing to take, will be able to uh, adjust these strategies and, uh, yeah, and then basically sit and relax, hopefully. And yeah, relax, how, yeah. How, and see how <laughs> his or her ears are growing. Yeah. And this yeah, is relax. like where this brain, see, this brain this brain will be thinking and will be working <laughs> in the background. If you can relax in crypto, that's awesome. If you can make it possible, you know, I am 
I am for it. No, no it's uh, of course we're joking here, and of course, but just for the record, of course, there are no investments that are risk-free, right? So we have to we have to say it out loud. Yeah, we can We have also here. we have that like one liner we say in our staking center. You know, earn crypto while you sleep. <laughs> but those who are in crypto, they never sleep. <laughs> they never sleep. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Green so... candle, red candle. Green candle, red candle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. That okay. Also that man picture, that dinner, dinner with candles, right? Yeah. And so that stressed <laughs> trader looking at the trend candles in front of his screen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's interesting technology. I see that uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, uh, term coming more often. Uh, like you know, just you know, uh, put everything on out autopilot in a way. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just my only concern is you know if that's the right way because then we you know uh, take away that emotional part of investing because obviously algorithms and machine learning is, is going to always put your money in the base places you know and it's going to always bet on the same winners uh, uh if you ask me you know there should be some kind of diversification so we all uh, invest in all kind of um, uh, projects uh according to our own opinion and emotions and everything and we sometimes not just something we usually bet on something on on things but if you know uh, ai says you know no guys you know like uh, you know <laughs> my algorithm says you know this is 100 the best way to invest <laughs> then we're gonna all end up you know investing in the same bucket but okay <laughs> we'll get rid of fun right <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're gonna get no, no. rid of fun but maybe we're gonna <laughs> sleep at least <laughs> during the night <laughs> maybe maybe that's the idea i mean you know they like the the, the idea behind this to, to like and i think this is like the whole mission the new york uh, mission guys and we to start, uh, sort of like unlock the decentralized finance right to make uh -huh. it accessible right so that's why you guys are offering that uh, awesome app that allows to pay for the subscriptions yes. with, with cryptos right yeah exactly so uh so yeah so the the goal is simply to make it available for everyone right because currently okay you can uh play with it but you have yeah. to know the rules right and exactly. it's like locked locked for masses of people that's yeah. simply even when they have a crypto they're like you know go into the panic mode right so sure. it's more like to get them accustomed with additional trading strategies additional trading opportunities right so mm -hmm. that, that does the only goal basically right but yeah if you if you're like an experienced trader of course you can just get rid of that uh, automation sure. and play with it on your own yeah for the average joe it needs to be simple that's the, yeah yeah that's the fact and you know uh, the user interface needs to be simple uh yeah crypto has a problem if you ask me about that you know uh, uh, all those setups are very amazing and very technical Mm -hmm. but sometimes it's really uh, difficult for people to understand you know what's going on behind the scenes uh but the question is now this even if it's important to actually explain everything mm -hmm. to people because all they care about is in most cases the yield and how much they're gonna earn mm -hmm. <laughs> in the easiest possible way Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah uh i yeah i believe that's the future we spoke with the uh, uh, finance they have something they call auto harvest so i mm -hmm. i believe you know it's something uh in that direction it it should be similar to what you do but mm -hmm. still uh you are building the decentralized exchange so uh yes. that's something that they're not doing um okay so uh yeah uh Thank you for explaining me everything. So I just want to add that we are very happy to work with you. So we are building, in a way, our own small ecosystem by supporting the projects that we believe are, uh, uh, yeah, the most significant projects uh, at the moment uh, in Cardano mm -hmm. uh, ecosystem. Uh, as you mentioned, we are in a way. Uh, building everything around the business model that's actually uh, easy to understand. So mm -hmm. we are trying to help people to manage their subscriptions with the virtual uh, debit cards. They're going to be able, they're going to be able to top them up uh, with the uh, Cardano native tokens. And mm -hmm. we're going to 
choose smartly who uh, which tokens that we're gonna support. Uh, yeah, and then we're gonna allow them to leverage not only crypto but DeFi setups also with the subscription payments and eventually help them to pay those subscriptions much less than they would pay them with their fiat money. So uh, there is a whole uh, plan how we uh, want to make it happen. Uh, now you are one of that, uh, I won't say missing puzzle, but one of the puzzles that we are adding to the story. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, I believe that, you know, once when you know even you launch the product and we launch the full uh, full product uh, this is going to be amazing and you know it's going to help uh, cardano ecosystem really um, leave a mark in that uh, crypto community i don't know if you have anything to add something special to close this interview just to uh to 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 confirm what you said basically <laughs> that you guys are uh, uh providing a really good service a really great mm -hmm. uh, great app that uh helps to uh with this does so mass adoption and uh, adds that very mm -hmm. needed new additional use cases for uh for for cardano blockchain and for ada uh, for cardano native tokens so uh so i totally uh, i'm totally on board with with you guys and i'm going to install revuto Okay, that's 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 great to hear. I have Spotify, Hopefully. I have Netflix. I'm a perfect yeah. customer of yours, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna close it with uh, just uh, letting our community know about your product and the project within the Cardano, but also about our uh, next uh, staking pool that we're gonna open. It's gonna be in a way. Uh, unique opportunity because this time people are going to be able to stake our Revu tokens, so which is a Cardano native token to actually uh, uh, gain uh, gens, you call it gens? Gens, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, your, your token. And I believe that we have a really uh, appealing uh, uh, APR that we can uh, offer mm -hmm. uh, at the moment. And uh, hopefully, uh, well, I'm sure that people are going to uh, go for it and secure their spot in actually your history and history of our products as well so yeah <laughs> that's it thank you for being here uh thank you I for inviting that, me yeah mm -hmm. yeah i hope that we want to talk again in the future you know uh, once when you know okay. uh, maybe six months after this and you know when uh, both products are going to be up and running so yeah, yeah to see what we did <laughs> absolutely looking forward okay thanks thank again you. for inviting me Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.